What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel here. I have something that I'm gonna be trying out new, which I'm gonna call it my Tech Tuesday. This is basically stuff that doesn't necessarily fit in my cinematic scenes, but stuff that I wanna go over that has to apply with Eastgate, PEV, and other things inside of my world. So today I will be talking about something that is super protective, but also super functional. That is the Basecamp Smart Helmet. Hey, where are you? Oh, well, I'll just out for a cruise while it's going on. Nothing, I was just driving around seeing if you wanted to meet up. Oh, oh I'm just uh, hanging out next to you. <laughs> Shredding the gnaw over here in my brand new helmet for base camp. Built in Bluetooth speakers, wireless uh, answering phone screen. Got some cool headlights like there too. Anyways, I'll see you around. Bye. Now I know you're gonna go ahead and say, you're gonna go ahead and say, I have AirPods, they have transparency mode, I can hear everything around me, probably, but the thing is is that when you have something jammed inside of your ear, you're not necessarily going to have full functionality of your ear. You're not gonna be able to hear necessarily a car behind you or a motorcycle coming up on you or another pedestrian in the way. These over the ear play down this music that actually has really nice crystal clear sound that's coming through while riding at high speed. And on top of that, you can also take a phone call while riding at full speed, as you saw in that video right there. One of my other favorite features of this thing is that it does have a built-in taillight. This is totally functionality as far as you can wear this during the day, you can have this on during the night, and then you also have the turn signals inside of here as well too. They did a really good job. I was actually super impressed when they reached out to me and they wanted to work with together. And uh, I know I, I wore my helmet. I'm not someone who likes to listen to music in general. That's why I don't wear AirPods. But I realized that I was able to still hear everything around me while playing music. Pretty cool. On top of that, taking a phone call while riding, I don't have to actually reach into my phone, get my phone out, pull over. I can actually just hit a button, go ahead and take the phone call and keep riding. Pretty ingenious in my opinion. The person on the other end was actually able to hear me pretty crystal clear. Let's go ahead and talk about the specs and features that come with this helmet. So first off, it comes in a really nice mesh bag here. So this mesh bag, you know, a storage area, you know, it's breathable. It won't hold like smells and stuff like that, especially for helmet. I sweat inside my helmet all the time. So that's one thing that uh, it's nice to have something that if you're throwing inside your bag or whatever, you got a little carrying case for it too. The other thing it comes with is a really nice, hard shell carrying case. I, I mean, interesting for a helmet to have this in there too, but the reason being is that it comes with all the parts. So the owner's manual and the step-by-step -step instructions on how to sync this to your phone or how to sync this to your device and also use the functionality on there as well too. A little tiny screwdriver, a USB type C charging cable because this is a rechargeable helmet. I know that sounds so weird to say, but it is a rechargeable helmet. Uh, and it does give you a incredible amount of time. And the other really cool feature is it comes with a remote. You're asking me what the remote for? I'll tell you also in a second. Let's go ahead and talk about battery life on the Basecamp Smart Helmet here. Now, there is three different modes eventually that you can use on this, and they claim anywhere from five hours to 16 hours of playback. The 16 hour mark is if you're using just the lights on the back here. So basically, if you're using this for 16 hours, you're using the, the brake light, the two turn signal lights on the back here, that will give you roughly 16 hours of use. If you're using just music mode where you're playing the speakers through here, roughly eight hours. So plenty of time throughout the day. I mean, like if you're using this for like a half hour commute every single day, you have plenty of time to be able to listen to this stuff, take phone calls, whatever it may be, and then charge it up as need be. And then if you're using the combination of the both, it's five hours. So if you're using the tails and the music, it's roughly around five hours. There's a 1000 milliamp battery inside of here. Recharges actually is really cool right through the top here. So you pull this back, Inside of there, right there, is a USB Type-C charging port. So you plug that in, indicators turn on here, and you're able to charge this thing up. Now charge time takes anywhere from about three and a half hours to charge it up from zero to full. So if you're at work one day, plug it in, at home, plug it in, you're good to go for several days worth of use. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing on, and it's kind of funny to hear this thing. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to, uh, to pair here. So turn this guy on. Power on. Bluetooth mode. So device is paired and we're ready to roll. Now that means that it's connected to my phone. I've had this thing paired up with my phone, so I'm able to listen to music and take phone calls while riding this thing around. And I must say that, again, I'm one of those people that likes to listen to the road around me. I'm more into the experience there, but having this, being able to ride around with this and having music play over my ears is actually been a really fun, uh, really fun time. More so than I, than I thought I would. I'm actually kind of vibing more with the music. I'm flowing more with the music here, but uh, it's definitely a really cool situation. 
And like I said, even at high speed, the music, the speakers are pretty loud enough. There's not enough bass, but it's pretty loud that it can definitely hear while you're riding. On top of that, again, you can take phone calls while riding as well too. Let's go ahead and play some uh, copyright free music here. That's not even all the way up, let's turn all the way up. All right, so you get the gist there. So that has two speakers, one there, one there, right over the top of your ears that is playing directly downward. Loud enough that you can obviously hear it if you're next to someone or whatever it may be, but I think that's the point of it. It's supposed to be, you're able to hear people around you, conversations, cars, whatever it may be, the world around you, you wanna be able to hear that. Now it does have functioning mode inside the helmet, so necessarily if you wanna leave your phone in your, in your pocket, you can hit this button here. You have this paired with a Apple Music or Spotify account, where it may be. These buttons up here actually act as able to like pause the song, answer a phone call, whatever it may be, and you're able to do that inside of here as well too. So the really cool part about that is that you don't even have to have your phone out or your watch out or wherever it may be. You can go ahead and hit this button and be able to play music or take a phone call right away when you have something coming in. So awesome feature in that sense. The other feature is there's another button on here. Pull that button down, boom, there you go there is your really cool brake light. Super bright, a bunch of LEDs inside there, and it's actually pretty bright. Even in direct daylight, it's definitely bright enough. And especially at night, it definitely lights up. So it's taller up, you know, it's not necessarily on the ground. It's not on a backpack, but it's definitely on the back there and you're able to see that there too. So this also comes with a really cool remote. Now the remote is more along lines for bikes or scooter users, for e-skate riders or people that have, uh, that have stuff in their hands like a remote. You might find yourself not necessarily using this as much because it's, you know, I don't wanna have two things in my hands. But the cool part about this is that you can mount this handlebars of your scooter. And while you're actually riding, you can go ahead and hit that button there, play some music, take a phone call. Go ahead and lower that. Lower that music. Raise that music. Oh no, I have to turn now. Go back to your music. <laughs> turn left beware. I would say it's probably the one negative thing is that I hear it. But it actually is good because you'll know that you're actually forgot to turn that off. That's one cool feature. So while you're playing new music, you're able to go ahead and hit that button. Let me go ahead and turn that all the way down. Or turn it off. This is surprisingly feature packed for something that is actually really affordable comparatively to your other helmets that are out there too. It does meet all CPSC standards, so it is able to pass as an actual helmet as well too. Now, multiple different features inside of here as far as your vents to let you cool down here. You have a adjustable head strap on here, and then when you power it off, power off. lets you know that you're powered off. I mean, between the helmet having all those features inside there, a really cool remote that is gives you turn signals, adjustability as far as volume control, turning on and off the remote, and being able to control your cell phone while you're answering phone calls. Overall, I think Basecamp did something that was a really cool feature and honestly, a really good price. Right now, I believe it's on sale, but normally the price is $120. It is on sale for, I believe, $89 right now. And if you go ahead and check out that link down below and you support me by wanting to pick one of these up, it gives me a little kickback there as well too. Basecamp, I, I was really not looking for a helmet per se, but when they sent this to me, this has kind of changed my mind. I think this is one of the coolest helmets that I've had, been using for several weeks now. And to have those features inside there and be able to also be super protective when a half shell the helmet, I love it. And if you guys are digging it, make sure you go ahead and check out that link down below, support this channel. Anyways, guys, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And as always, there's a super thanks down there too. I know these videos, uh, they take me a little bit of time. You wanna go ahead and buy me a cup of coffee, throw me a few bucks down there. I really appreciate it, guys. It's just been a huge support from you. And as always, wear your helmet. Until next time, guys, peace.